Okay, in this video, we're gonna see how to make a creature tower, which is one of these. Okay, these creature towers are an ideal way to encourage wildlife into your garden. All these crev crevices and niches are gonna attract insects, and if you can get the invertebrates, then you're gonna get the mammals and birds that feed off them. First thing you need to do is find a post. Any post will do, but a, a fence post like this would be ideal, and drive that into the ground. You could use an existing post. You may have a, a clothesline that's uh, redundant, and you could use the pole. You may think it's a, an eyesore. You could clothe the pole to make a creature tower. But any post that's driven well into the ground, a foot or so, so it doesn't move, and then you use that to build the structure of the creature tower. Once you've got your post firmly in the ground, you can start with a bucket. Cheap bucket, a leaky bucket is ideal. Cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket to thread over the post, upside down. Take the handle off, it makes it easier. Take that down to the bottom, and that forms an ideal hibernation zone for a hedgehog. You can crawl in there and there's a bucket under there. Keep them nice and warm in the winter. Then start stacking your materials. These are roof tiles, which were lying around. These are really nice curved ones, which leave lots of opportunities for creatures to crawl into. House bricks. These are really good because they've got holes in them. Some of them have got a lot of holes ready made. Any little crevice is going to provide a nesting opportunity for something, particularly in invertebrates. So all the different materials are separated by a disc and to give it a bit of rigidity these discs can be nailed to wood. Down here you can use a bit of grip fill, the sort of gap filling adhesives that you get in a gun and that just gives it a little bit more rigidity but because of the central post that's not going to fall over anyway. All that will happen is maybe some of these materials fall out and you can put them back in again because they're all loose. Up here we've got a nice little opportunity to feed the birds so leave a bare disc at about one and a half meters high and then it's out of the way of the cat and you can come out here and you can feed the bird you can give it a bit of shelter so that it doesn't get all uh, wet and on the top we've got um, another upturned bucket this one's one of these timber buckets that are sold as planters it's got a nice little hole in there as a nesting box you can hang feeders from it you can do what you like it's a very personal sculpture. Over in uh, Europe, particularly in Scandinavia, people compete with these in their backyards to um, create personal sculptures in their garden. And in winter, it's February now, and it's a nice day. This is the only thing that's standing in this garden. It gives it a bit of character and form. Some of the other ones that you can see in the garden are uh, crowned with different materials, but feel free to make this your own, and uh, you may have some ideas which uh, we haven't seen. 